Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Tuesday morning. It's the 21st day of October 2025, and this is the morning briefing. Yes, I am back. I'm back for the rest of this week, but I'm going to be gone again next week. This retirement thing is, uh, you know, <laughs> it's kind of fun, I'll tell you. Maybe I should do an ad for, uh, for golfing in Ireland. It was spectacular over there. If you've ever played golf in Ireland... You know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played golf in Ireland, you should go. Uh, let's get back to Northern California, though, where I am this morning. And as you can see, blue sky. That's one thing we rarely saw in Ireland, this trip. But yeah, blue sky in Northern California this morning. It's going to be a really nice day today. Uh, can kind of continuing what we've seen over the last couple of days. And, you know, one of the things that I like to do when I come back from being away is, well, find out what I missed. So let's see what's been happening for the last couple of days. So for that, I'll go to the National Weather Service page, and this is the this is for Sacramento, and these are the highs and lows uh, for the uh, the month so far. Here is that cool, chilly day that happened uh, as I was uh, leaving last time. We had that big storm, had uh, an inch and a quarter of rain, that nice snow in the Sierra. But after that thing left. Went up to 70, 74, 79, 81, and 80. And today we're going to be back up in that same range in Sacramento, up around 80. But after today, things are going to take a cooler change. And one of the things we'll be talking about, I'll tell you, one of the things that I saw when I was away uh, over the last couple of days is atmospheric river coming for next weekend. And I just started rolling my eyes, even though I was eight time zones away. So I'll figure out what everybody's talking about in terms of an atmospheric river for the weekend. Yeah, kind of annoying. All right, this morning we have clear skies in California. There's some marine layer on the coast, weather system way out in here. And as the sun is coming up, as you can see, we have clear skies in California and it is going to be a terrific day. There wasn't much marine layer on the coast yesterday, but it is kind of filled back in during the overnight hours and coastal areas will begin the cooling trend today. Temperatures were also pretty warm on the coast yesterday, but we'll start to see that change during the course of the day today. For that, let's go to our 500 millibar chart. There is a, a lonely low spinning around down here. It'll have some impact on Southern California, but that's also helping to increase the marine layer, and that will help to increase the cooling that we'll start to see tomorrow. But it, we won't see any precipitation from that, most likely. Beyond that, we get into a little bit of ridging again on Thursday. So Thursday looks like another nice day. And so does Friday. This is the system that's going to go by on Saturday, and will likely bring our area a little bit of rain over the weekend. And if there is going to be uh, a good amount of rain, it's going to be in the northern part of the state, as well as into southern Oregon. And this is during the day on Saturday. And then that goes by and we get back into some ridging and some mild weather as we go through the middle part of next week. I'll go out to Thanksgiving as well, uh, not Thanksgiving, <laughs> Halloween, because it always seems like we have a chance of rain around Halloween and we have a pretty good system up to our north here on Halloween evening. It's far too early to get too excited about anything with Halloween just yet, but we will keep an eye on that. All right, so what are they talking about with an atmospheric river trying to drum up some headlines for next weekend? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe they were posting stuff about a week away in an atmospheric river impacting the weather. Well, this is our good old precipitable water map. And here is California, there are the Aleutians, and we're looking for these little bands of moisture. And this is the one we're looking at right in here. And that eventually comes into the coast. And yeah, that looks pretty good right there. This is Friday around midday. And this is pointed at the northwest. Not really much for California at that point. And then it gradually sinks across the area in a diminished fashion as we go through the day on Saturday. So technically, is this an atmospheric river? Yeah, technically. But is it gonna do much for us other than bring us a few showers? Unlikely. And as you can see, we continue to have some really good moisture coming our way. This is on the, uh, the 28th, so that might bring us some rain then. And then that looks really good there as well. 
That's a nice storm, but this is out around the, uh, the 29th. That's a nice storm there for the Northwest. All right, let's uh, shift focus a little bit and let's go to, let's see, regional, and then we'll go to California. And instead of looking at the PW, let's just look at the old rainfall. Let's see, where is our rain? Here's our rain. Okay, obviously nothing today. This is that bit of rain from that low that I showed you, that low that's spinning off the coast right now. And this is uh, tomorrow. Yeah, maybe a, uh, some showers. It would be very light rain on the south coast. And some better showers. Might get something into Tuolumne County on uh, Wednesday night, tomorrow night. Uh, in more Mariposa County as well. But then after that, that ridge it comes back. And then here comes the dun 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 atmospheric river. This is Friday. And then just watch how it kind of falls apart as it comes our way. That's about the best of it. That's Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Some light rain. Some showers in the mountains. Some snow in the mountains. And then what's our total, total QPF? Total rainfall. Tenth of an inch in Sacramento. Nothing in Stockton or Modesto. But here is where you do see the rain. Southern Oregon and up on the coast. And the models have been pretty consistent with this. Now, I did look last night when I got home and there were some runs a couple of days ago that brought this a little bit farther south. But ever since then, the model's been very consistent at showing the bullseye of rain here and into southern Oregon. Um, and let's see, what are we talking about in terms of snow? Because it did look like there was a little bit of snow there. Yeah, just trace amounts of snow, you know, a couple of inches. And this is all the way through the day on Monday. So really not much in the way of snow out of this either. Um, so yeah, this looks like it's, you know, much ado about nothing at this point. Anyway, I mean, we will see showers on Saturday. I don't want to downplay that because, of course, people have a lot going on on Saturday. Uh, and we'll fine tune that a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's a lot of rain on Saturday. It looks like some showers. All right, let's go farther down the road into fantasy land. I mean, why not? And let's see if the models pick up something around. Yeah, they didn't pick up anything on that big swath of moisture around the 28th. Uh, this is Halloween, still dry, and this is the morning of the 1st, and we're going way, way out into fantasy land, really not showing us with a lot. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's our chance of rain. And let's go ahead and take, because we can, let's take a look and see how the euro is handling it. Um, the euro, let's back up a little bit. This is Friday. That's Friday afternoon. Looks a little bit wetter on Saturday. And then this brings in something even better on the 26th, Sunday. The GFS didn't have anything like that. Ugh. Yeah. And the GFS hasn't been showing anything like that. But let's just back up to uh, Saturday. And then look at, again, the total QPF. This one shows a couple of tenths of an inch. But again, the bullseye of the best rain is here. So that's one of the consistent things we're seeing from the models um, lately. And again, this morning, uh, that the best of it is going to be uh, basically to our, to our north. So what's the bottom line? Today, warmest day we are going to see uh, over the next few with temperatures up around 80 degrees again this afternoon. Beautiful day to be outside if you can. Um, turning cooler on Wednesday and Thursday. Areas in the southern Sierra may see a few showers on Wednesday afternoon and evening. And I'd even, even include Tuolumne County and let's say areas around Yosemite. Could see some showers on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, then Thursday, Friday look nice. Uh, Friday will see increasing clouds and cooler. The rain will start Friday night up on the north coast and into Saturday morning. And that line gradually sinks to our south, giving us a chance of some showers Saturday morning. And right now, I don't believe the euro with that possibility of something on Sunday, Monday. Uh, it looks like the GFS may have a better handle on all of that. Um, so... That's everything I have for you on this Tuesday morning. I have to be remembering that it is Tuesday. Uh, you know, starting my work week on Tuesday kind of gets confusing. So, yeah, uh, Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, beautiful day today. Get out and enjoy it if you can. And 
Make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.